So guys, hello and welcome to the 57th tutorial of Python programming series. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss something more about strings. So basically, we are going to do three things. We are going to concatenate strings. Then we are going to okay, hold on. Concatenate strings. Then we are going to multiply two strings or many strings. And afterwards, what we are going to do is we are going to append strings. Append something, some variables or whatever value in strings. So let us discuss these three things. So first of all, let us discuss concatenating strings. So what is the meaning of concatenating? It means joining two strings. So you can see we are adding two strings, but adding is not a better word, you know, because adding means you can think like we are adding integers and float values. It's not like that. We are not adding them. We are just joining two strings. So suppose you have S1 called say Sam and you have some string called S2. And that is equal to some say some message on the you know screen. So you'll just say welcome to the screen and whatever. So afterwards, what you'll do, you just have to add these two strings. That is join these two strings. Remember, not add. We are going to join these two strings and just do do one thing to join the strings. You just have to write s1 plus s2 and that's it. They are joined. So you can run this code now. So say print out Sam welcome to the screen. You can do one more thing to concatenate the three strings. Sorry, two strings. You can write s1 s3 equals to s1 plus s2. So now s3 will become the whole string that we printed out just now. So s3 is the concatenated part of s1 and s2. So see it printed out Sam and it didn't print out anything. It just printed out welcome to the screen continuously. So you want a space in between. So you can do one thing after Sam you can give a space. Then it will print out the same thing. Or afterwards you can do one thing after this string you can. Give a space, so it's fine about it. So this was about concatenating two strings. You can also concatenate three strings. Actually, you can write s sorry s three and this will become s four now. I guess, yeah, s four and you'll just have to print out s four. But remember, you don't you haven't defined s three, so you'll define s three, and s three will be say anything randomly, and then this code. So say it printed out all the three strings concatenated. We just have to concatenate concatenate the three strings, and these was the you know this was basically concatenation of Many strings. You can do that for many strings. So this one about concatenation. Now let's see multiplication. So you have a, actually one more thing about concatenation is I'll just just you know show this example so that I can confuse you all. So this is S1 24 and S2 is equal to say 6. And I'll print out S1 plus S2. So if you think you can think actually what should be the answer. So you can think 24 plus 6. That is we are writing 24 plus 6. Then the answer should be 30 according to some people. But the answer is 246. So what happened over here is, see, 24 is a string, 6 is also a string. So we, we basically concatenated two strings. So that's why we got the answer as 24 and it printed out 6 afterwards. You can do one thing, you can give a add the rate to sign over here. So it will print out 24 at the rate 6. You can, you know, you understood. I guess you should understand now. So see, it will run this code. But what if you write, don't write, you know, strings, you just write 6 and 24 you haven't given any you know inverted commas and all then it will print out 30 then this is the right so this was basically the difference between concatenation of strings and this was basically addition that i did now so now let us discuss about multiplication of two strings so let us say a string is i what should be okay i have a lazy cat i have this string okay and afterwards i just want to multiply this string by any integer so what you'll do you'll just write s print out actually you'll just print out s into how many times do you want to multiply so say you want to multiply it four times and run this code so see it printed out this thing five times you can do one thing after not five times actually four times and i'll just you know print out three times so that we, we can count it so three see it printed out this thing three times basically we are multiplying any string by an integer value so that it can get multiplied or get repeated actually repeated is a better word so and remember you can just multiply it by a you know this string is the integer. This is not. This cannot be a float value. So if you write 3.2 or any random thing over here, cannot multiply sequence by non-integer type of float. You can actually do one thing for you know, for our understanding. Let us have some other string and let us print out s into s1. And let us see what happens. So see, it still gave us an error because we cannot multiply string with a string or string with anything. We can just multiply string with an integer and it repeats itself. So you can write string into 3, 4, 5 and so on. It will run. But you cannot multiply a string by a string. So that's it about multiplication. You can just repeat the elements. So afterwards, let us see append. So the meaning of the word append is basically we are adding into it to itself. Itself is a you know important word over here. So basically you'll have the same word. Okay, hold on. Yeah. I want the same string, same string, and I want to append something into it. So to append something into it, let us do one thing. I'll just write s equals to 
s plus and some other string so what does this do is okay hold on i'll just change this example for our understanding so see appending means we are just appending the some string into the string that we had before into itself so this is the string and in this string this will be a new string now s and this will be the previous value of the string that is sam and suppose we want to pass some message now welcome so what will happen over here is this string will become sam so this is a new string s it will become equals to sam plus welcome basically we are concatenating sam and welcome that's what we are doing but we are appending in it into itself that's why we are saying that we are concatenating it so we are not concatenating we are just appending it and run this code see it will spread out sam welcome so basically what we did we just appended it so this is one way to write you know append append whatever in the, into the string one more way to write it is s plus equals to you might know this from math and all so s equals to s plus this is just the short form short version you can see so we'll just write welcome and run this code so still it appended it this is a new string now so this all was about concatenating appending and multiplying so in short what you, you what you can say is concatenating means you're just joining two strings and not adding them remember you're joining two strings or any number of strings multiplying means you are repeating the strings for n number of times where n is a particular integer appending means you are basically having a string and you are appending it in some other string into it. that's it you are changing the value by adding some string into the string itself so i think that's all for this video thank you and one more thing that i would like to add up quickly is if you like such content related to programming or any cool programming videos then you can like and comment on my videos and you can subscribe to my channel so that it will help my channel to grow further because i see many people have not subscribed to the channel yet so it will help my channel to grow further and i am really grateful that you all are watching my videos so that's all thank you